Hello. So today, in a break from tradition, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to start a series of videos on how we can integrate Duo SSO with various Meraki capabilities. We're going to start with integrating Entra into Duo SSO, so you can then use Duo with everything else. In the description below, you'll find all of the links. But what we're going to need today is access to Duo and to Entra. So let's get started. We're going to head on over to our Duo dashboard, Applications and SSO settings. We're going to add a source, and we're going to add a SAML identity provider on the right hand side. Now, if you're not using Entra, Google something else, this is exactly the same. Now, what we're going to do is make a copy of all of these URLs. Once we've made a copy of those, we're going to also download our XML. Now, we'll head on over to our Entra. We're going to go to Enterprise Applications. We're going to go to New Application. And we're going to create our own application. We will give this a name, such as Duo SSO. And we will ensure that integrate with any other application you don't find in the gallery and click Create. Once this is created, we can now go and configure the application. So the first thing that we're going to do is click Single Sign-On. We will click SAML. And we're going to edit the basic SAML configuration. So we need to use the URLs that we copied earlier. The first one is going to be the entity ID. So let's go and paste that in. We'll do the same for reply URL. We'll add that in. And this should be the single sign-on configuration completed for the moment. So let's click Save. We're now going to go to Attributes and Claims. I would suggest that you have the Duo documentation by your side to do this because we're going to remove all of the default attributes and claims. So let's remove this window and click Edit. I'm going to fast forward through this because it's quite laborious, but I think you'll understand the principle. So we're just going to delete these to begin with. And then we're going to add new claim. We'll slow down for the first one. We're going to type in email and again refer back to the Duo documentation for this and we will paste in user.mail. We'll do the same for the rest. And once we're completed, it should look like this. So we can click on the little X button once completed. And we're now going to go down to SAML certificates. We will download the Base64 certificate. And we're going to use this shortly. We're now going to head on back over to the Duo dashboard. And the first thing that we're going to do is configure Duo Single Sign-On. We're going to give this a meaningful name. This is my Azure instance. This is what we're authenticating against. We're going to copy the entity ID that we copied earlier. In fact, I think we're going to actually start with a single sign-on URL. And there we go. We've got that, so let's copy that. Paste that in to the right box. We're going to do the same for the entity ID, which is there. It's really easy if you just click the button to copy them rather than typing them in. We'll paste that. We're not going to trouble ourselves with single logout URLs. 
and log out redirect URLs just for the moment. But what we're going to do next is upload our certificate. There we go. Now the username normalization, we're going to leave for the moment. Um, there's some probable use cases for why you would need to change this, but we'll leave this for the moment. And I'm not personally going to uh, encrypt my assertion, although that's something that you could also do as well. Once we've done all of this, we're going to click Save. And we're going to enable this. You don't need to enable it immediately, but we will do. Still in the Duo dashboard, we're now going to go to Applications and Routing Rules. This ensures that when the portal is um, brought up, that we actually head on over to the right identity source. So we're just going to select our new AWE SM enter in there and click Save. You'll notice that the authentication source has now changed in the routing rule and the status is enabled. The thing we're going to do is to actually assign a user in Entra to this SSO application. So let's do that. I'm going to find myself in the list of users. You could probably use a group. Click select, click assign, and we're all good. So this is the Duo SSO and Entra configured. Thank you.